While this October may feel a bit destabilizing to you, Aries, in a very funny and unexpected way, it could actually be bringing you much closer with a special someone. If you're excited for this month's reading and you're not already subscribed, then this is the month to do it. I'm very likely to rebrand either in October or in the very near future, so if you want to make sure that you are always up to date with what's in the cards for you, then definitely be sure to hit like, subscribe, and the bell notification. I get comments and messages from you each and every month saying that you haven't seen me for some time, you haven't seen my videos, and that you've missed me, and the truth is I've missed you as well. I've actually been uploading since over a year ago again after taking a bit of a break, I still haven't gotten everybody back. So if you do support this channel, it not only helps me continue to put out messages for all of you, but also reach people who are still looking for it, for people who still need them, and I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. For those of you who are new to this channel, it's great to have you. My name is Michael, and I utilize tarot and tropical astrology to intuit monthly forecasts for your zodiac sign. I also have links in the description of this video for personal readings and distance Reiki sessions. I will never DM you or send you a message or leave you a comment to solicit my services. Anyone who's doing this is just a fake account, so you can just report and block them. You can also follow all of my actual social media using the links in the description of this video. That way you're sure that you are following me. Now, let's get into October reading. I'm very curious to see what we have this month for you. While connecting with your energy, I did get the Firefly that came out first. And this card felt very much like a connection between you and another person. Maybe there's been someone who's been very hot cold with you, someone who's been very on off. Uh, this does actually feel like a romantic connection, but it could be another type of relationship as well. Maybe a friend, a colleague, or someone who is like a partner in some way to you. It feels like there is something that is really lighting up. There is a chemistry. There is a passion here. Maybe something is lighting up in you as well. You might be having some sort of bright idea or some sort of inspiration, and it's important that you act on it because the firefly energy can be a bit fleeting. I feel like some of you are potentially moving out of relationships or out of kind of a pattern of connecting to someone who's been very non-committal. Uh, we'll see what the tarot cards have to say about that, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's something new coming up in your love life because we are in Libra season and we do actually have a new moon eclipse in Libra on the 14th. And this is where you could really be connecting um, in a new way, either with a, a specific person or with a new person. Um, we do actually have the Page of Pentacles in reverse with the King of Pentacles upright. This might actually already be talking about someone that you are connecting with. Um, for those of you who are single or who are looking for a relationship, um, I, I feel like with the Page of Pentacles in the past, someone has been giving you promises that they haven't been able to fulfill. Maybe they presented themselves in a more established way than they actually are. It's like someone's not delivering. And a lot of the time with the pages, it's not necessarily that someone is being deceptive. It's more like a lack of awareness or um, a lack of experience. However, with the King of Pentacles, some of you are connecting with someone who's much more established, much more stable. This could also just represent your own journey where maybe you've been reflecting in the past month about how you have grown and maybe you were once very naive or inexperienced and how you've had to learn along the way, but you have come into a greater sense of stability and a greater sense of who you are and what you want out of relationships and connections with other people and really just what you want out of your life overall. Page of Pentacles, it's very, or the Pentacles, I should say, are very earthly, they're very material. So there could be a lot of focus on job or career here as well. Um, we do also have Pluto going direct or moving forward again in the sign of Capricorn on the 10th. Pluto went retrograde, I believe, at the end of April this year. And there's kind of been changes that you've been thinking about or reflecting on, especially in your career or public image or role. And so I feel like some of you are making some big changes in career as well, going after your purpose with the cheetah card. Um, and it's interesting that this cheetah is actually facing the firefly. You're chasing after your spark. 
and you're you're kind of reigniting the passion in your life again, especially if things have felt very monotonous. Things are shaking up for you. And I, I did say that this month could feel very destabilizing for some of you. Maybe you're focused on finances or maybe there's a, a source of income that is ending or changing in some way. Um, but it feels like it's giving you the space to actually go towards your dreams. Um, interesting that I say that. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so kind of lessons learned. We have the Six of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. Again, quite literally, some of you are walking away from something in order to pursue something that's more exciting. Um, we do also have the Fool here as well. So I feel like a lot of you are catching a lucky break in the month of October. Um, we did just have a full moon in your sign at the end of September, and this could really have fired you up. This could have given you a lot of energy, and it's like, you are finally moving in the direction of uh, where you want to go, what feels like enlivening to you, or what feels like growth to you. Um, some of you have just been very focused on getting yourself stable again, and that's kind of been the cycle that you've been in. Um... And now that you're getting things in order, or now that you're back on your feet, you're ready to make some big moves again. I feel like you're going to see some really powerful changes this month. Some of you could be moving with the Six of Swords. Um or relocating, or even changing fields. Like, something is in movement. Something is changing. What else do we have? Judgment. Wow. Okay. Yep. Aries, you are answering the call to something higher, the call to ascend. You have been thinking a lot about the past. Maybe things have come up from the past, and you've been a bit nostalgic, or reminiscing, or just looking back on your life and how far you've come or who you've been, and you're looking forward now to where you want to go. And it feels like you have learned what you've needed to learn from the previous chapter, and you are embarking on a new chapter. We have the Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> the challenge for you, you are hard at work this month. Um, I'm actually hearing like building something from the ground up. Some of you are really just doing something for the first time and it's like you're starting from nothing and you will be very successful. I was going to ask about relationships and we have the Ten of Cups. I feel like a lot of you are, are coming into a relationship that could feel like a soulmate or connecting in a way that feels very fulfilling. For those of you who are in relationships, I feel like you are deepening a connection. Tell me more about this Ten of Cups, actually. Sorry, these cards keep falling off the table here. Mm, yeah, I feel like with the Three of Wands, there's a relationship that's coming in or you are planning the future in a relationship. Maybe there's actually like a proposal for some of you um, or some sort of commitment around the 14th. That would just make a lot of sense. Um, and if you are in a relationship, maybe you are making like a plan to travel with someone. For others of you, you're just manifesting someone. You're calling a relationship in. And if you're not interested in romance, this could just be calling your people in. People who are like your family. I feel like you have a lot of motivation this month. There's a lot of new things that are exciting and inspiring to you. And you haven't really had that for a while. Um, at least some of you with the page 
and King of Pentacles in the past. It's been very focused on like growing, becoming more stable. And now you're breaking off, branching off, you're, you're becoming freer and you're working on something that feels like part of your purpose, part of your mission. Feels like it's bringing some really positive things for relationships too. And I, I really am not a type of reader to sugarcoat things or to just give you the things you want to hear. But this feels like a really positive month for you, Aries. Um, I, I think something that could be happening, you are walking away from something that was once stable. And you're, you're taking a chance on something. Taking a chance on love, taking a chance on passion, or taking a chance on yourself. Page of Cups, Queen of Wands. Yup, that's basically what I just said. Um, some of you could be connecting with a fire sign or a water sign. So that could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, could also be um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I really feel like this is your energy, actually. And I mean, the Queen of Wands literally is your energy, Aries. And you're following your heart. You're opening your heart up to the world again. You've been going through some healing with the star at the bottom of the deck. Um, you are working on something. You are really building a whole new life for yourself. And I feel like you're doing this very, very quickly. Um, there's just something that is like aligning for you. And I feel like you're making the changes that you've been wanting to make or needing to make. Yeah, you've been going through a healing process with the Three of Swords. I really do feel that. Um... You've kind of had to put your heart back together. And I actually feel like you going after this passion in your life is going to be very healing. Why is the Three of Swords here? Two of Wands in reverse. Some of you are also letting go of something that was long distance or something from the past that it just feels like it's very far away from you now. And this is just a message for some of you, but it feels like this month you might be realizing that you've actually missed someone or have been holding on to someone. And it kind of catches you by surprise. And I, I don't even think it's like this super big or painful thing. It just feels like a little bit of a tug. Like you're going off in your new direction. Maybe you're finding new love or connecting with someone. And all of a sudden there's just this pang. Um, and it feels very brief to me. But I, I do feel like this is a person who is meant to stay in the past, actually. I don't think that this is someone you are reconciling with. I don't think this is even someone you're necessarily supposed to reach out to. Maybe you do hear from them, but it doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like you're growing in that relationship really, because you're very forward moving this month. But I, I think there is like, it's almost like, oh, I haven't felt this way about a person since this person from a long time ago. That's kind of how I'm feeling or thinking this could come up. You are feeling passion in a way you never thought you would again. You're feeling love in a way you never thought you would again. You're feeling good in a way that you never thought you would again. Um, and I love this. Any other messages? I think I'm going to pull a moon card for you. Cardinal moon, be bold and make the first move. Yeah, this is just do it. 
That's what this card means. Just do it. Do what you need to do. Take a chance on yourself. Take a chance on your dreams. Luck is definitely on your side. Um, and like, don't wait. Don't wait for the opportunity to come to you, Aries. You need to make some sort of move. You need to take some sort of action. Maybe you're even approaching someone or telling someone how you feel. You might be making the first move in that way as well. Just saying. Um, or at least dropping the hint. Don't be afraid to shine with the Queen of Wands here. Don't be afraid to turn heads. Don't be afraid to be a little extra this month. Because um, I feel like you, you have a lot of power right now. Anything else for Aries? Any other messages? Um, the answers you need are coming. Full Moon in Gemini. You are getting messages. You are hearing from, back from people. Um, I, I think you are receiving some good news. I know that Gemini energy can be kind of flirty as well. So there is just sort of this flirtatious energy uh, that is at play. But I feel like communication is very, very important. And you could be hearing back from something. There could be some sort of very fulfilling opportunity with the Three of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Um, you're receiving good news, and it might be something that you forgot about. Like, maybe you applied to an old job a long time ago, and then out of nowhere, there's suddenly an opening. Um, something like that. Or maybe you are reconnecting with someone... Um, or hearing back from someone, but I don't think it's the person you would think it is either because it feels, again, very unexpected, very surprising. Um, anything else? Anything else for Aries? We have a full moon in Libra. A win-win outcome is forecast. I mean, I really feel like you're just having a lot of success. Things are going great in a lot of ways for you, Aries. Um, and it just kind of, it, it happens when you are making the decision, when you're being proactive. This is definitely not a month for you to be passive. This is definitely not a month for you to wait for things to happen to you. This is a month to take initiative. Um, and I feel like when it comes to relationships, there's something really beautiful here. There's a good reciprocity. There's an equal give and take. Um, something is feeling very, very balanced. And that, that could be with a person you're with now. That could be with a new person. Um, but it feels like there is something that is growing, something that's very beautiful. And, and just as like one final message, because I was wondering if there was like something about an ex that was coming in. For some of you, again, general messages, not for everybody. Only a couple of you are going to resonate with this. Um, you are going to reconnect with an ex, but it's a very like casual conversation. And it's almost like reminiscing about how immature or naive you were and how far you've come. Um, and there's almost that like acknowledgement. There's that full circle of like, wow, we've both grown. We've both become the people we wanted to be, or we're both becoming better people. And I, I feel like it's very platonic, to be honest. I don't think it's like a rekindling romance or anything like that. I, I really just get the sense more of like, you've grown, you've both grown. And it's kind of cool when someone comes back from the past and saw where you were and sees where you are. They can really see the growth. Um, maybe that's not even with an ex, but I feel like for someone it is. Uh, so comment down below if that ends up happening or if that did already happen. I'd love, love to hear. I, I'm always so excited to read these comments and see how they unfold for people. Um, and sometimes in very unexpected ways too, uh, because these are general messages. They're going to apply to each of you a little bit differently. But anyways, Aries, these are all the messages I have for you this month. I do hope that this was helpful. Definitely be sure to hit like and subscribe, especially if you've made it this far. You can find all of my links in the description of this video. You can get a personal reading, distance Reiki session, or astrology reading with me. This might be a good month to do it with all of the eclipses and everything going on. 
Um, and you can also watch some of the other videos for this month, maybe for your moon or rising sign. And I will see you next time. Take care, Aries, and have a happy and blessed October.